Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So, what's up in Japan? As you may already know, after Miyazaki retired, there were many rumors floating around that Studio Ghibli was done for. Without Miyazaki at the helm to create its box office monsters, the studio was left with little choice but to restructure and let most of the staff go. Yoshiaki Nishimura was one of them that left in the middle of 2015 and went on to found his own studio called Studio Ponok. Nishimura joined Ghibli in 2002 and took up production duties as Toshio Suzuki, which was one of the founders of Ghibli, retired as a producer. Nishimura was responsible as lead producer for Princess Kaguya and When Marnie Was There, which were both nominated for Academy Awards. As one of the youngest staffers at Ghibli, he held immense potential and many thought was a top candidate to succeed Miyazaki's role in Studio Ghibli as Miyazaki retired. So what is he up to now? Today, Studio Pono finally released a trailer for their new feature animated film called Mari to Majo no Hana, which translates to Mary and the Witch's Flower. You can check out the trailer in the description below later. As per Ghibli tradition, the film is also based on a novel called The Little Broomstick. It's about a girl named Mary, who was sent to her great aunt's house deep in the countryside, where there were no other children. She befriends a black cat named Tib and finds a little broomstick. Tib eventually leads her to a rare flower that gives her the ability to fly through the sky on her broomstick, and eventually lands in a stable yard of a school for witches. Sounds sort of like Harry Potter so far, but with a female lead. Anyways, Mary finds out the school was doing horrible magical experiments on the animals and meets a boy whom together they rescue animals from their cages and escapes a bunch of witches and wizards along the way. Normal girl travels to a magical place, has to escape from evil adults that have magical powers. Sounds a whole lot like this other Ghibli film I've seen before. And as you will notice immediately, the animation and the art style is also eerily similar to Ghibli's style. And that is by no mistake, if we look at the staff list for this movie, there are many people listed who've worked on many Ghibli films in the past. And by the looks of it, it seems like Nishimura is planning to make this film as Ghibli as possible. Hiromasa Yonabashi is the film's director whom Nishimura worked with previously on when Marnie was there. Yonabashi is also co-writing the script with Riko Sakaguchi, who is also the one who wrote the screenplay for Kaguya. The music is also written by the same person who did Marnie. So this is pretty much a Ghibli project minus the Ghibli stamp that appears at the beginning of the movie. If Miyazaki actually follows through and makes a movie before the Tokyo Olympics, we might actually have two Studio Ghiblis before 2020. The word Ponok actually means midnight in Croatian, which signifies the start of a new day. Is Ponok going to be the start for a new era of Ghibli-inspired animation? Nishimura is clearly using the Miyazaki formula that has been so successful for the last few decades. But will Studio Ponic's execution be enough to fill the gargantuan shoes that Miyazaki has left behind? I guess we will find out in the summer of 2017, which is when this film is slated to release for in Japan. Which is actually much sooner than I expected it to be. This is pretty much the first trailer for the film and it's already slated to release as early as 6 months later. This is impressive and I can't wait to see the film when it comes out. What do you think of Mary and the Witch's Flower so far? As usual, let us know in the comments below. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. You can follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And for more about the latest things people are talking about in Japan, don't forget to check out our channel and subscribe so you can get your daily fix of Japan right in your inbox. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.